Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where I have decorated our bedrooms with hat boxes. <laughs> now, if, after they went to bed, I got to thinking, I wonder if these hats are, ki are actually cooling them down. They're meant for summer. So, had them all take them off, and then drop them, and then get back in bed, and it didn't make a difference. It enabled them to withstand more heat, but it doesn't chill them in any way, so that's that's not a thing. Anyway, I think I'll spend the first five minutes giving you a rundown of the 40 minutes you didn't have to watch. I went ahead and ran the game for a day and moved a lot of stuff up and min-maxed a bunch of things and kept telling Simon go do this and Kana go do that. And it wasn't very entertaining, but it got a lot done. It doesn't make great YouTube but it makes great uh, advancement in the game so most everything here is either slated to deconstruct or has its its um, recipient wh wh where these are going to land already figured out up there and built so everything is ready to go fires are ready to be extinguished and eventually deconstructed one thing i haven't dealt with are these three i don't know if they're going to shut down waiting to be moved and I like to keep the fuel processing so I'll wait until Simon is ready to actually move it or maybe wait until each of them finish that might be wise in fact this one before it gets started hopefully that doesn't uh, uh, destroy what's inside mm, I don't know that answer so furnaces are gonna sit out here I got a bunch of resource stockpiles out on the front porch I think that's a great place for those We'll load up the barrels through here. There's four spaces left. The still is here. Some oil presses, which I think will also be the other press. Um, research we're doing. Insect fats. It looks like it's the same machine. So insect fats as well as vegetable oils, I think, are all done from the same equipment. Uh, we've got this guy going and starting to fill it up. Got the shelves in here. So little by little. The end of the hall here had two doors, and I thought it looked great going into the last two bedrooms, and it dawned on me. There were no heat vents. There was no room. So I had to kick the hallway in a notch so I can get one more wall panel for each bedroom. And I did that idea that I kind of mentioned at the end last time. It's kind of dark right now. It's hard to see, but a bench, this one, the, the Taylor bench, and then across the hall, storage shelves for the materials, and workbench and crafting materials so very efficient what they need is right here behind them though there's not much quantity is going to fit on here so don't know exactly how I'm going to deal with that yet but um, got a lot of it laid out got this section done I think at the very end yeah right when we signed off last time but I couldn't get them to build this wall Turns out they have to have the floor on both sides of the wall in order to build it. So we spent a good part of that day trying to force them to build every single square so we can get the walls in. Kana did a lot of the construction around here, a lot of the miscellaneous stuff, a lot of these sort of things, so she got a little bit of experience too. Um, what else happened? There was a, uh, a notice that popped up for an, uh, an event for the hot air balloon expedition. A uh, burning cruise vessel came in. Flaming remains of a small cruise ship fell here. So we need to go get that one done. We still have any fuel to do it. So it wasn't a loss that you guys missed the uh, the announcement because we would have still been you know, frustrated. We can't take off. Got to find ways to make fuel faster. It'll be different later when the bug attacks come in in such huge waves that there is more bug meat than we can possibly deal with. And wherever the bug attack is going to be right now it's it's over here but later I think it's going to be out over here so wherever the debris is going to end up we're going to put a bunch of probably these guys in and just be fermenting fuel all the time so that's likely the the plan for that I think we can get fuel out of the the uh, vegetable oil and fats on the benches, the workbench, I think. I, we haven't researched that yet. In fact, does that pop up um, 
research. I've been moving that around too. It's over here right now. Uh, research. Was there one more? Fuel. No. Okay. Research. Craft bench. Craft. Fuel from. Extract liquid fuel from manure, manure, and that's it. So at this point, I don't see another way to make fuel. I thought there was something to do with one of these two. Maybe it's this this last one that hasn't uh, hasn't researched yet. Maybe it's fats that makes it. Anyway, we'll see how that works. We are getting uh, very low on quality of clothing, so that has got to become a, a high priority. And I went through our activity list and basically just went up a number all the way across the board so that there are no ones left except for Rita one on ranching that one is a priority no matter what so ranching always has to be locked in somewhere so that the animals get fed otherwise now I've got the ability to get all of that stuff moved up by simply putting a one all the way down the board and everybody delivers. And I'm pretty sure deliver is the task that brings them from these shelves to these shelves. We'll see. I'm going to try that today. Though we are out of food, out of meals for the most part. So Paulette has got to uh, be concentrating on meals. We do have both stoves here now. So she should be able to make coffee on one and be cooking on another. And, and foods for the most part are here. And we're going to start getting all these foods delivered. And meals is just dropping in. I would love to swap these two out. Put all the supplies out over here and the meals there. But no, I guess it is better like it is. These are the ingredients for the stove. She'll be doing the majority of the moving back and forth. Whereas the meals, that's a one time a day, first thing in the morning, maybe at night. So it's less often you're walking the longer distance. So yeah, this is this is more efficient. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, still working on the idea of heat. I move things around. We suddenly cool down now that the room is bigger. I think that's a factor. We may have to split this big room in half somehow and get a, a fireplace in each half in order to even that out. I have going to let it run a day or two for us an episode and kind of see how things even out. We'll get into this construction later. But that's pretty much all figured out now, but it's uh, it's not a high priority. Getting everything moved up and getting rid of this constant going back and forth is a high priority. Get power up here and all of that. Anything else before we get running? Um, I know we need to get scavenging going. We are really kind of behind on the the benefit of finishing off these guys there's there's a lot of loot still hiding in there so that could help us out um grab my list here need to keep fuel going make sure slop is is constantly being made lamps we could well we can do that as it's running but we need to get lights in here now that we have power uh clothes and Move power and airlock. Airlock was the next question. Do we want to pop a wall around this guy and put a door right here? Is there such a thing as a open up the door and everything chills down across the entire room as a result of that door? So I do want to hopefully watch that happen soon. I'll go ahead and turn this on. We'll see who gets up first. Got to figure out what to do with dog. Dog is too far away. He is. Unfortunately, well, that came up quick. Hey, that's four in the morning and the sun is up this time. How come? It should be even worse. It's been five in the morning before. Unless it's just going to switch to five. No. Huh. Okay. Is it random? Does the sun randomly come up at different times? And on this planet, don't think it works that way. Um, for the small animal sleep mat, they give you a two by two, which is huge, and for the the food trough, it's a two by one, which is huge. So to put dog in a bedroom takes up a good chunk of the bedroom. Dog has bonded with Carter and Rita, so it's not a one person thing like 
uh, RimWorld was. One person would bomb the animal, the animal would want to follow that person, follow that person around. Kana's at first. That's interesting. Kana is getting something to eat. One of the few meals that we actually have. Hearing a lot of boom booms out there. Hmm. There's that plume of smoke that I thought was that that uh, that other warning or announcement we got last time. I'm surprised Edward is up, but I did work him hard last night. Insufficient fuel. Yeah, we know that. That's always going to be up there until we get a, ahead of this curve. Um, well, that was a lot of creaking to get into there. The small table bonding together to make this larger table is nice. I couldn't make the big tables uh, play play nice with each other, but the small ones do. So, kind of a modular table set up this way. Do you see what I see? That's snow. Oh. 20 degrees outside. I think winter is here. We're right at the end of fall. Wow. First snowfall. Cool. Yeah. Cold. <laughs> Disease. Brain parasites. Whoa. What? Huh? What? No. Edmund. For some time now, I have been experiencing slight muscle tremors, headaches, confusion, and decreased attention span. I ruled out altogether treatable causes, but brain parasites. I could mix and inject a poison to try to kill the parasites, but there's a slight chance of me getting permanent brain damage. Hmm... So, if we wait, it could get worse. I think it's what they're trying to say. Is it, If I get any notice, I don't. If we do it, we roll the dice and harm Edward. Or we do nothing and it gets worse or it goes away on its own. Wow. Well, I'm going to say do it. I'm going to say he has ruled out all other treatable causes, and he has thought about this thoroughly. Well, let's make it happen. Illness, Edmund. Oh, he's just marked as an illness. Okay. Now, he's got to go down there and get that stuff. Uh, Edmund is sitting. Kana, what did you... You went to relax. Okay. So, let's... Everyone's going to be getting up to relax soon. So, everyone, how are we doing mood-wise? Just, we're still... Low moods, extremely low. We're, yeah, I worked them really hard yesterday. So we're going to have to probably take a little bit of time and just, we're at 7 in the morning, let them kind of figure things out for a while and so that we can get back to a more enjoyable pattern of knowing that they can do whatever we need. Uh, relax. Let's do two hours of relax and two hours of eat. Actually, let's stagger that. And make sure those stats all finally get brought back and, and good. Kana is reading. She's going all the way down there to get it, too. That's why I get it a lot more time. So, yeah, hopefully by the end of this episode, we have brought back almost everything. In fact, let's just think about that right now. We desperately need meals. So Paulette cannot be part of this experiment. That's not what I'm looking for. So she still needs to maintain cooking as her most important. Carter, though, I would say could. Rita, there's still a little bit of harvest chance out there, so we gotta we gotta stick with it. Simon, you get the fastest run speed. You're definitely on on that uh, that duty. Edmund, I'd say you are too, though I don't know what illness is going to do. Uh, in fact, let's kind of keep an eye on Edmund. You are awaiting treatment. Who is our best doc? Uh, think about that. I know Paulette. It was Paulette and Edmund. Paulette's the one that uh, needs the, the most training. Otherwise, Edmund was the best. Oh, <laughs> I'm already there. Medical. Edmund. Paulette is interested, which means she's going to skill up twice as fast. And she's not that far behind. True. So, Paulette, when you are done... Oh, I bet you the treatment is successful based upon the, the medical skill of the person doing the work. 
Is there a debuff for having you treat yourself, Edmund? I can I get you to possible brain parasites? Go to oh double click and shift double click does everyone. Oh that's interesting. Okay. Um let me zoom in so I can click on you. Right there. I can get you to heal yourself. I don't know <clears throat> if you then get the skill level three. I would think you would. This isn't like he's performing surgery on himself, he's just injecting himself, theoretically. I'm going to have you heal yourself. Healing self. There you go. You get the best skill. And I think that would be the wisest way to go. So we'll keep an eye on you. Otherwise... Oh, you're one all the way down there. I wonder if you do it down there. Okay, let's head down this way. Uh, medicine is in that area. Otherwise, manage tasks. Let's start at the bottom this time. Um, deliver. Kana. Deliver. Edmund. I'm going to say deliver. We'll see how well this part goes. And we're not going to... And you're going back up there to your bed. Okay. Simon's already got a risk of meltdown, but we're going to spend the whole time reading. <laughs> and petting dog and healing self and researching. Because you don't need any help. You're already in great shape. Okay. Well, when you finish that research, you should drop into your... Your new first number one. Yeah. Okay. So Edmund is healing himself. He's heading up here. So it's just Rita and Paulette that cannot be drafted, you might say, to go in and just haul things all day long. All right. He poked himself in the butt. Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. He's got to do this five times. Brain damage. No. What we what just happened there? Slight brain damage. Negative fives. Sitting down. I wonder if that's permanent. Or if after a while we're gonna see what the final results are. Huh. Okay, well we'll just let that sit for a while. See what happens. Um everybody gets moving again when? Today's schedule at 11. Okay. Um, and Edmund's up, getting something to eat. So what did that really do to you? Brain damage. So it's consciousness and manipulation. Uh, skills. I don't get the sense anything dropped. Your intellect was in the fours already. If it did go down, it went down only a little bit. Your physical of five, construction of four, are all what they were. So really it's just a speed thing. And how probably how quickly you do your tasks based on manipulation. Okay, so the consequences were minor. Alright. So tomorrow we need to get someone just glued to this sewing desk. But today we need to get all the fabric moved up. We're at 10 o'clock. What all is happening? We're reading, we're eating... We still have the table and chairs down there. Uh, getting food. Getting vegetables. That drives me nuts. Oh, this is on the ground. Okay, we had a meal. Just unfinished veggie soup just sitting down here. Okay. Otherwise, we could make this happen right now. We could. Simon, did you... Is anybody... Yeah, Simon is still in a bad mood. You are playing. Is that going to finish you off? Uh, you could go for a meal again. Paulette, are you up here? Oh, you're, you're transporting that one meal. Then you should get into a more productive habit. Your meat's here. Your veggies are here. Everything but the potatoes are here. And the order... Are they the same? No, they're not the same. So each one is different. Oh, okay. I may have to go through and... I can't copy orders, can I? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I may have to go through and standardize those two so that she's doing the same thing on each one. But are one of them I can make coffee and tea the highest priorities? And 
this one I could make certain other meals the higher priorities. Yeah, that might be a wise thing to do. Take coffee down a notch here and here. Fruitcake up. There's no tea in this one. Interesting. So it didn't transfer between them, all of them. I thought it did. But you're just going to start working through here and get this done now. What do we have for grain right now? Uh, boy. 32. Yeah, we're, grain is hurting. Uh, Rita. Everybody is transporting. Good. Good, good, good. And they can haul quite a bit at a time. Carter, you get the highest, um, yeah, good. You get the highest physical. So how many berries can you really get? Can you get into the 300s? You're a physical 5 compared to Paulette, who's a physical 1. You can hit 300. Okay, great. And I just saw fuel pop up. Ha! Ah, and I would love to send Edmund out. I really would. 20 would do it. You run out of fuel in 11 hours. And that is the... You are... 60% we're gonna we're gonna run out I could have somebody craft one round of fuel really inefficient they gotta go find the poop to do it but it would get it would buy us the time and it would let Edmund take off you know and he's in great shape let's do it Edmund what are you up to right now you are transporting wood all right let's do that drop that off Okay, and how about you run down over here and fuel the balloon. And once that's done, we can set up a mission and get you gone. We've got lost harvest of 40. I've got a bunch of harvest out here. Rita is out to get it. Okay, harvest. Is it this group? No. This right here is what? Looks like a... A snow mold. It really does. I guess it's snow. Snow is building up. Oh. Okay. Oh, I was... Let me pause because I don't know what I can't miss over there. What are you? But I was up here looking to see if we'd missed any more of those uh, root vegetables. And we kind of did. Um, 46 two roots. But then I saw this. Feathers. Where is it? There. Okay. There's a pile of feathers over here. And they say observe. So maybe there was a giant chicken nest here one time. And the feathers got left behind. So I went searching and I found another pile of those out there somewhere. Is that you? 40. There was like 120 somewhere. Maybe it's you. Feathers. Now well, there's no quantity. If I do it this way, it just says observe. Huh. There. No, that's 40. Okay. There was 120 there a while ago. Unless there's more in the area. And I only clicked on one of them. No, just 40. Okay. Something changed. But... We running now? We are. So we'll have to send uh, someone out there to research that. Edmund is handling hot air balloon. And dog, we need to think about you. So you are transporting. Let's get Edmund out of here. Expedition. Let's go find out what the burning cruise vessel is. So you sent Edmund. Do I need to think about this for a moment? We're paused, we're paused. Edmund, clothing-wise, we are at 35 degrees outside right now. It's probably a nine-hour trip. Many of them are. You can handle down to 24. Your clothes are decent, and you've got both weapons. All right, and you've got a physical carry of, of five. Yeah, I think you are in the best condition you can be to do this. All right, expedition. Burning, Edmund, Simon, Edmund, and send. There we go. Turn right around. No, you're going to go find food. 
Let's... Oh, you got to go all the way to the top to do it. <laughs> okay. I said I was going to get somebody to take care of getting us one more round of fuel. Kana, that is you. What are you doing right now? You are transporting coffees, so you haven't done it yet. Okay. In fact, while you're here, I don't know where the manure is at the moment. Let's have... Ah, uh, okay. Where is the closest manure to this bench? Let's have you do this. And watch where you go or what you do. You are getting manure. So that manure is closer than what's sitting out back. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, manure. Yeah, it is a good walk over there. Okay. Then you go ahead and do that. Yep, snow is coming down. So... Is there anything left? The pumpkins can still be harvested, apparently. Rita is doing just that. Did anything else pop in and become harvestable since then? One more has. Okay, so let's get her to harvest as many as she possibly can. And kind of the last haul for the year. I doubt we're going to get another chance at this. This is probably going to be all white everywhere. Though we are above freezing. Well, I wish I could, in RimWorld, you could force harvest on something. And you would get a smaller uh, yield. So can I say harvest any of you? I cannot. And if, can I click on you individually? Harvest is not there. Uh, harvest not ready yet. So 99% does not give you anything. You have to get all the way to 100%. That's annoying. I'd rather grab some not quite ripe vegetables and hope that they'll ripen than lose everything. But that looks like what we're going to do. So we're pretty much out of grain cob for the year. That, I think, is the thing. Once all this goes away, we can turn all of this into garden. There goes Edmund. And Lost Harvest 160 and sufficient fuel. We're transporting and transporting and transporting. Okay, Rita. How you doing up here? I want to make sure. And one last chance. Is there anything else out here that could be harvested while you're here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. As far as the same food, same category. Okay, you're going to pick up. You're probably not going to pick it all up, are you? Probably not. We're already... Yeah, we're going to be sending somebody else out here. So, Edmund, when you're done... Well, let's let her finish. Uh, not Edmund. Simon, when you're done. Yeah. Um, boy, you left this so far away from that. I gotta stay here to see it, don't I? If I have Simon come and haul this, will he... It doesn't show his path yet. Okay. If he goes to this one, then we'll know that he's going to get them all. So I told him this one. If he goes to this one, then he may or may not cross that void to get the rest. So I got to remember to watch Simon. He is right now bringing up the coffees and filling up this, which is not what I had meant for this to be. Okay. Yeah, this really just needs to be medicine. But down there, we had put coffee in with the medicine to get us by for a while. So others are no longer going to be any others so it could be we could put short stories up here yeah we could do that let's do that that and that short stories could drop into here and that is it so but simon already has another job to do okay uh rita that gets me to simon's line and he is going to that one good so he is smart enough to take the entire area all right. Now I know. Paulette has been making meals and making meals and making meals. And we've got seven. Okay. At eight, nine. So the nine, we're dropping into here. Where are the two? Where are they? You are not there. Not. Where are the pumpkin pies located? They must still be in a... Whoa, we're dark. Boy, I got dark quick. Eight o'clock. Hmm. Um, they are in an oven. They're in an oven. 
No. Wait, you're dropping that off. And you're... No. Where are the pumpkin pies? I gotta make sure they aren't landing in the wrong places. They are there. Maybe they're in the middle of being transported. Or maybe it takes a second for it to refresh. Okay. Um, lighting. Oh, we're still transporting, which was going to be shroom boxes. Shroom torches, which would light up some of these areas too. But we do need to think about more harvest lost. Yeah, do need to think about... I wonder if this is going to flag us for losing things like this. Um, getting electric lighting into these places. Probably should. Uh, probably a lot of, of debuffs going on right now for being in the dark. Hmm. So where to then? This is a wall here. So this room, this eventually becomes part of this room. Where do we put a light in here? We could try... Can we put it over the stove? I don't remember. Are, are there ceiling lights? Hmm. Alright, let's think about that. Lighting... There are ceiling lights. So if we were to drop one in like here. Is there an area effect? There is. So actually it is quite a big area. So if we were to drop a ceiling light in right here. That would move over into this bench as well. Yeah, we could try it. Let's put one of you in there. And just to kind of in general light things up a bit. So that was like there. Yeah. Let's drop one, I guess, here. Do we do it in the bedrooms? I think we do area lighting in the bedrooms. Let's do those two and see what we think of it. Insufficient materials now. Hmm. Bummer. But we're, we've spent all day just moving things off of shelves, haven't we? We have. I mean, we're getting there. There's a lot less stuff on the shelves now. But there's a whole day, well, most of a day. We can probably fix this now. Um, put work back up through here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, insufficient materials. So did Kana, you grab something to eat. Uh, before you do, you have been loaded up again. All right. So we're still low by 20, but we have another day to figure that out. Simon's bringing in the other 175, and he'll be done. And we're not putting him in the fridge anymore. Good. Hopefully, I've got to watch Paulette. Hopefully, she's taking pumpkins off the shelves first. She might not be. This is physically closer. I'll bet you that's a thing. I'll bet you it is. Let's short circuit that for a moment and move you to here so you're not. Uh, where's the front? There's the front. Move you to there, and that is Rita transporting. You're just getting here, so you're going to need some food. So Khan is going to need some food, too. I'm going to leave you two alone. So you fill the shelves, you filled this up, and now you're getting a meal. Who hasn't gotten into bed yet? Um, going to sleep. Well, Paulette, where is Carter right now? He is transporting. And we didn't deal with dog. Yeah, this day went by really quick. Simon, let's grab Paulette. Paulette, can you move this for me? So that tomorrow you will empty the food that's not refrigerated first. Theoretically. I have a feeling that you have been been loading out of this. But yeah, let's you know lift that great big freezer, refrigerator up and just set it down over here. Thank you. Now we'll see how well this works tomorrow. Uh, right there. So, otherwise, cave dweller, cave dweller. You don't even like being in here. Oh. Right? Am I getting that right? Yeah. Anywhere inside of a building without a floor. I see. I thought it was just for sleeping. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, it's not a big negative. The the uh, working in the dark is, is bigger. Simon's getting back. Your pathway is up through the back door. Good. That's why I put it in there. So hopefully we can get more of the little stuffs done. And 
I should, I could probably speed these guys up and maybe get three days out of this. Though, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Who's not accounted for right now? Carter's made it back in. Yeah, let's kick this up. We're going to get a notice here real soon about Edmund. Yeah, he's been gone for a while. So he has slight brain damage. Hmm. So should we have let it go, progress longer and see if it, if it fixed itself? I don't know. Medicines, though. Just right. He used medicines. He used, we have 25 and 25 still. And there's a good chance we can get some of that from scavenging these. But we do need to think about getting more of that uh, happening. Otherwise, is Rita... I don't know if Rita is done as far as harvesting. I still don't know why this thing is, is highlighted. I can't make it not highlight anymore. Is there something I've done here that's different? Fertilize is checked. It's the only one that has fertilizer checked. So there is something that needs to be done to this. That's why it's lit up all the time. Okay. Pause. Uh, expedition complete burning vessel. Edmund. I recognize the shapes of a cruise ship. Or at least what was left of it after the monstrous crash. I'll make note of the location for future visits. There will surely be things to scavenge once it cools down. Uh, don't waste your time. Look for survivors, which poses some risks. Or come back for now. No, let's look for survivors. You're our most equipped survivor my lungs soon filled up with smoke as I was making my way around the crash looking for survivors. I covered my nose and mouth as best I could and kept looking for the longest time, but I didn't find anyone. I was going back to the balloon when I tripped on something which turned out to be a first aid box. So get whatever is inside that box and come back. Okay. Roll of the dice and first aid came up. And you are on your way back. Alright, so we have two sites we can go back to repeatedly. But before we go back to that, since there's no survivors, we may as well go back to our own and get more out of there. Which I would love to get Carter doing. You know, moving these things might well be construction. Maybe that's why we're not moving any of these. Hmm. Let's find out. Activities. Kana, let's set you back to construction and Carter sets you back to construction and let's see if those get moved before you try to start building walls and things curious to see what happens um, Umayar is awake and is working on bringing things or transporting uh, oh okay we started moving our our uh, uh, stockpiles supplies. Okay. Paulette is grabbing from the shelves now. Great. That's what I wanted. These are the ones that are going to rot first. And the emergency meals, well, they do... Oh, they're now indefinite. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we can just sit on those. So, I wonder if... Okay, we have 20... We have 41 of them. Let's kind of keep note of that. I didn't, one more time, walk up with Edward to see what... Ed, Edmund to see what he took with him for his expedition. So there wasn't a chance of, of uh, finding that out. I wonder if he's taking the emergency meals. That would be wise. So we are running at double speed today. Let's see what we can get done. I've got to be aware of any messages popping up. So what didn't get done before? Um, well, first of all, I wanted to watch Carter. But we didn't move Dog. So that's got to be done. Uh, you are deconstructing stockpile. Okay, so deconstructing is a big part of... Hmm. So in that case, how about all of these shelves... Let's just say empty, but not deconstruct. So cancel orders, but keep empty. And all of these stockpiles. Right there. Cancel, deconstruct, just keep empty. Okay, so Carter, what are you doing now? Now you're moving a furnace. Okay, perfect. Though, since you're able to move, and that is a construction duty, verify that now, Khan is moving a furnace. How about we move power? 
and get that done. Let's put that noisy thing back here behind the walk-in freezer. Okay, and I think let's aim it outward so we could stack a second one next to it if we needed to. And that is a radiator which exhausts heat, so that should be on the outside. Where's the fuel? I'm not sure. There's... Oh, yeah. That's the generator. That's the motor. That is... I don't see a fuel tank. The green thing is the thing that looks like a fuel tank, but that's obviously a radiator. I don't know. Well, we'll put you there. So, Carter, why don't you move this guy first? And that way we're certain that it gets done immediately. Then I can start, I guess, disassembling more of the power poles down here. They're not really needed. Uh, lightning rod is the only thing, and this guy should connect to that just fine. So this guy can go away. So you are a deconstruct. And even this lightning rod can kind of re be pre repositioned. Yeah. A couple of poles across here. In fact, we can almost just straighten out our line here. Yeah, we'll have to think about that. But Carter's getting this guy. It is in. We're up and running again. Okay. And I noticed this one kind of wonky over here. I thought I'd get it changed out someday. I meant for this to connect to that, and it didn't work, but we're not going to go any further back. So, hmm, let's, eh, let's steal Carter. Is he still up here? He's not, but Kana, where are you at? Kana, you're eating. All right, let's deconstruct. And it didn't give me an instant message that you have no power now. Because this is the only thing that's important right now, isn't it? Just the refrigerators. Oh, I like that. Okay, so deconstruct those two and this one, since that's what uh, threw everything off. Okay, so Kana, when you're done, you're going to deconstruct three power poles. And once that's done, I'll set new ones in. Aggressive animals. <laughs> Belay that order. Two mantai, mantises, and a bunch of scarabay. Oh, scissor hands. Scissor hands. Oh, that's what we're calling them. Okay, okay. There we go. Yeah. So you guys are all over here behind the rocks. You're quite a ways away. And you take a long time to move. We really don't have to even deal with that for six more hours. So, 1900. Okay. Then, yeah, Kana, continue what you were doing. All right, you deconstruct those. We'll get those rebuilt real quick. And we are unpowered devices three. Which three? I mean, I know of this guy. Oh, we got the lights in? No. Which three? Boom, boom, boom. You guys are powered. What you talking about? You better be powered. You're right here. Okay, well, something had a little bit of a brain fart there. Uh, you, I need to get around this corner. And let's just do it like this. Copy and we're just going to drop in. We're going to go against the building. Um, actually, I'm going to put you right there. And I'm going to kick you one away from the building. If we redo this line to neaten things up, let's keep it one away. Because I don't know where the windows are all going to land. I hate to have a power pole right outside a window. So you're going to go there. And how far down this line can you go? And you're going to connect to the wrong one, aren't you? I'm going to put you there. And I'm going to put you there for now. Okay. So, Kana, you're going to construct in queue. You're going to do this right now. Then you're going to do 
these two. You're going to take over all of those so Carter can continue doing whatever he was doing, which now is moving a furnace. Great. So I'm going double speed, so 1900 is going to come a lot faster than we're used to. Oh, we should probably put a pile of brick out here for this structure's repairs. Yeah, what are you? You are a stockpile of wood. That's That was the plan. But let's change you over to brick. Yeah, you are no longer wood. You are brick. And while everyone's set for delivering, maybe that'll get t taken care of. Edward's back. Transporting dogs down here. Okay, let's deal with dog. What was that one? Edmund's breaking down. He might not be able to help us today. Dog sleep mat gets changed to Edmund's room right there. Feed trough, I don't know what to do with. We need to specifically um, deal with this, though, after the bug attack. But that gets moved, yeah, up here somewhere. Whether that has to be in the room or can be out on the porch or what, I don't know. Let's put it here and see if Dog is capable of going outside and going back in at the end of the day. And we still have three unpowered devices. Uh, oh, you're making the deliveries. Okay. That's nice to see. Uh, Kana is finishing off that. Getting these built. Looking for 1900. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, boom, boom. This should go away. Okay, that went away. Edmund is getting something to eat. Your biggest issue is food and relaxation. I don't need you breaking on the enemy, or on the battlefield, and go off wandering around talking to yourself into the middle of, of a bunch of enemies. So I'm not going to... Uh, otherwise, you're going to continue what? Just going to continue relaxing. Okay. So you're getting something to eat, and then you're going to play the didgeridoo. Edmund. And then... That might be enough. Foods, I don't know if it's going to max you out, but it's going to take you up in here, and the others should take you up in here. At that point, you should be back to normal again. Okay. So any last-minute issues to deal with before 1900 comes up? I'm going to slow it back down to 1 so I can think. We need to actually get Dog moved up and out of that area. Let's think about that. Who's down here right now? Edmund is, and that is it. All right, so Carter. Carter's moving a furnace. Does he have it in his hand yet? He does. So that's a waste of time. Who else could get down here, though? Anybody out in the field? There's no one suddenly doing some research or anything, right? Okay, shouldn't be, but... So everybody else is up here, then. Rita is transporting because... No, she found something else to harvest. She did. Ha! <laughs> okay. Well, um, Rita, your condition, you need food. You need food before the uh, before the attack, and who else is re who else's relaxation is low? So she was a 51. She's the lowest. Edmund is. She's the lowest. Now, Umayar is. You are where right now? Why don't I see your name? Double click. You are getting food. Okay. So if you could get a pumpkin pie, I don't see one in the list. So I guess that's not a thing right now, right? Right, okay. So we're going to get you to play the handpan. And that's what it's called, right? Yeah, and that way you are that much further away from breaking during the battle too. So Kana is moving an animal spot. You know, I wonder... They did need materials to build it. I wonder if it's faster just to build it. Let's cancel. Let's try that. Small animal spot right there. Kana, come and construct. I have a feeling that's just a tap tap and it's done. And since we're really running out of time, Kana, draft and get in here. Run! Double time. Go, 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 go. We're at 1,700. And boom. Undraft and construct. 
And yeah, no materials. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's done. That now belongs to Dog. And I need someone. So Dog, I need you. You know where your sleep spot is now. But I still need you, Lead. I really do, if that's possible. I need you, Lead, to... At least to the front door. To... There. So, Simon is out here transporting. Uh, anybody down there now? Nobody is down there. I don't want Dog that close to the battlefield. I don't know what's going to happen. Will he automatically flee? He is quite trained now. He might try to jump right in there and take on a scissor hand. That's possible. Um, eating, eating, playing, relaxing. Paulette shared a favorite recipe with. And delivering. And your condition. Actually, your condition is really good. And you could just drop that on the floor. Is it possible for you to lead Dog at least a little ways out of here before they get here? Before the battle starts? Or 1700. It might be. If you can just get him up into here, there's a better chance he won't uh, aggro. Carter's down here. He's closer and at a full run. Paulette, drop, dis uh, disregard that, do what you want. Carter, draft, run down here. Let's see if this was a smarter move. All right, right there, undraft, and there. Carter, why can't you lead? You can't lead animals that are interacting with someone. Someone is playing with a dog. Rita, draft. Carter, can you please lead dog out of here? Thank you. All right, so you guys just slowly meander up the hill. <laughs> the leading really is slow in this game. All right, so Rita is finding finding something else to harvest still. So there are a few more things marked out here. I'd say these are done. I mean, we could do more. Buttermelons, we do have 1,400 of them. Okay, you are non-harvest you guys are a non-harvest Rita is idling okay she officially has nothing to do now no you're you're idling you're harvesting what what 100% hey if you can no you didn't okay now you're planting so there is zero harvesting left and you're going to Go plant something because it is 32 or more. It gets a little bit colder. I think that's going to go away unless there's something here that can be planted during the freeze. I don't know. These were so close. Are they any closer? It's either the 87 or the 94. I guess it's the 94. Is there anything that's like 99? Is it? Okay, the attack has begun. Oh, we probably should have gotten down there, shouldn't we? Edmund, are you viable again? You are not. Okay. Anybody else who is not? Everybody else is fine. I need everybody but Edmund. Drafted and down here. Ah, uh, here we are. Dive into the middle till we figure it out. Where is... They're coming out of the rocks. Waiting for the first movement there or here or here. Uh, reach cooking and old equipment and they're on their way okay I don't see anybody yet and we're gonna hit this side of it where there are no traps yeah okay that's special Kana is okay you put you oh probably here Carter you're a little bit better at, at aiming. You can be here. And Rita. Let's see. Who dove into there? Simon. 
trying to remember who is what right now. I think you're fine. Omar, you head over here. Rita, you're going to take front and center. Paulette, you're going to be over here when that happens. Okay. Otherwise, we're doing what? You guys are all coming down here. Um, you might track at Edmund. You might. And Dog. Hmm. Go after Edmund. Because you're going to go after the easiest target. Edmund, you're going to have to be up here. Unfortunately. You're back to a low risk. Okay. Draft, you need to be in here. So, hop in. You need to be. Okay. I think that's who they're after right now. They're going after Edmund. So who's left? Oh, we're going to do this in the dark. So there is an advantage to getting some light around here so we can shoot and aim. There is. Hate to have to uh, keep these lit. I guess we could try extinguishing them, but we probably should think about something like this. So that's probably something that's just going to be attacked, huh? Yeah. That might be a thing. And for as long as we're going to be using this. Okay, what's happening here? You are heading in. Who has not made it to the structure yet? Edmund has not. And Paulette did get up there. Okay, so you're attacking that one. And damage brick fence. Okay, that's fine. Uh, big guy over here. You're an overgrown. Yeah. So waiting for Paulette. My volume is down really low. And I'm not getting all the exciting noises. But we are going after this one. So, Umayar, you need to... Hmm, I can't get you into that yet. Move over one space. Okay. And attack him. And distract him. So that Edmund can get around the corner and up the ladder. Um, you guys are already aiming at this one just fine. Okay, Paulette, you are still getting into place. You are, but I think you need to be... Are they all coming out of here, or are they coming around here as well? They are coming around here as well. So, yeah, I think Paulette's in the right place. Their pathing will change once Edmund is on board. Okay, you tried really hard to come around, and you didn't go after Dog. Dog is over here. Okay. Is there a sense of telling you what to do in a battle? I can't tell you to flee or anything like that. There are no other settings for... Oh, there's the help. Tamed animals. Dog. Heal, train, pet, and slaughter. You're level 5. And your happiness and health. Instruct survivors to lead this animal to another location. Copy and paste your settings. That is all we get for dog. Okay. So I can't tell you to attack or not. So I don't, still don't know how that works. Alright, so this is not going to be as exciting because we're not going to be able to see a whole lot. Edmund is within the structure now? He is. Okay, so... The mantises are going to take their time getting in. You aren't part of this, are you? You're just flying through. Okay, you just keep right on flying. All right, no aerial attacks. Um, mantises, scissor hands are not in view yet. Okay. I'm trying to get figure out where there's a best spot to see things. I guess this is it. And this guy needs to be dealt with. And you need... Oh, I was inside of a balloon. Edmund, you come on over here and help. And Kana. For the moment, we're getting as many coming out of this side as the other side. So let's have three here, three there. Kind of a thing. All right. So you actually can't hit him. Okay. Then Edmund, I need you over here. Unfortunately, we've got to take this guy down. We're, we're busting through some brick. Yeah, so, oh, hit some traps over there, good, and that was a miss, so yeah, you're over there, and, hmm, now, who else is a good shot, 
Carter, I need you over here. So that you can be hitting things from this side. The scissor hands, I see one. Coming in. You are not necessarily a small one or a big one. You're just a scissor hand. And the other one is... I don't see you. No, you guys are something else. I wonder if they attacked anybody. They were back in here, right? I guess waiting till dawn... I guess that might be the best chance of actually finding something. Okay, we'll get back to the battle. I get distracted easy, I know. Alright, so Carter, you've got plenty of targets over here. Edmund, you do too. I don't see... Oh, we have some damage going on here. So, Edmund, just in case you aren't already triggered there, take him out. And that noise was Paulette Reach Combat 1. Though she uh, truly does not treasure that uh, acknowledgement, she is indifferent about combat. We have calmed down? We have. We're just waiting on the scissor hands now. So, in that case, Edmund, head over here and help Carter. And Umayar, head over here. And Simon, move into there. And Kana, why don't you head here? That's everybody? No, Kana. Yeah, right there. So you're coming in. And I don't see the other one. So we'll let that happen first. And, well, that was a good headshot. Where are you? You're way over here. Wow, you're way over here. So, where? Over here. Okay. You're further away than I thought you were. Did you go after somebody and were and uh, was battling somebody else? That's why it took you so long? I was wondering if there's a bunch of butchering to be doing out here. Because you were busy killing off a herd or something but I don't see anything and I really don't want to wait all that time hmm it is 2100 Paulette and Edmund and Rita could take him out so let's go do that Rita Paulette with your stun gun and Edmund with your skills how about the three of you go hunt this guy? So that is one, two, three, four, undraft. And your conditions, Edm Edmund, your condition is low, so you're, you're going to be okay for this. Carter, you're in great shape. So you get to work. Um, why don't you start with, with this guy? Butcher him, and then butcher four of these. Okay, we made contact. And he's going to start moving quickly now, so unfortunately we may take a little bit of damage here. Hopefully Paulette can get a good serious stun on him. Boom. Ah, missed. Alright, so let's pull everybody back. Well, just Edmund and Paulette pull back. While they are reloading, we'll, we'll kind of go that route. Rita's ready to shoot. As soon as she fires, Rita, you're pulling back too. Alright, guys, pull back. I need Paulette to get a shot on him. Please stun him. Oh, missed. Or has she got a shot yet? She didn't shoot yet. There it is. Got him stunned. Alright, get in there and take him down. Um, if I hit this, will you guys go into melee? No, you're just going to keep shooting. All right, well, hopefully Paulette can keep stunning, and he won't... Oh, he's, he's moving. Ah, oh, got another stun on him. All right. And take him down, take him down, and he's, he's out of it. All right. So that is that. You guys can undraft. I need Rita to go ahead and butcher him. Paulette, why don't you come back here and do what? Kana is off to eat. <laughs> um, 
Let's see. Kana, is there anything here? Why don't you butcher these guys? Paulette, is there anything over here yet to butcher? That's all. Can you get into here? You probably can't. Well, yeah, you can. You can do that. And Edmund, you're out here. Though you desperately need to sleep, right? No, you're, you're good for a while. So is there anything else for Edmund to do? How about you? Everything is reserved. Anything over here not reserved? No, everything is reserved. Then I'll get you to head in and haul. Anything else that didn't get hauled, hopefully you'll pick up and take care of. So you are sleeping, so you've canceled your orders. So you work on these three. Let's just keep you guys going. Edmund's risk of meltdown. So Edmund, instead, you can just head in. And you're going to sleep. You're going to run for that. Anybody else sneak sneak away? No, you're still all here. So I will go ahead and get all this cleaned up. Get everything hauled. I guess load up some more fuel. Yeah, we'll get everything dumped right into the fuel buckets here. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.